So first of all, what are they and how do they happen? Blister or fluid filled pocket that form in between the layers of your skins. They usually develop as a result of friction or pressure on the skin surface. Uh, when the top layer of skin separate from the lower layer, a small space uh, filled with fluid uh, create a blister. This can happen during activities such as hiking or running or just by wearing inappropriate footwear. Everything that we all want is to just be able to enjoy our everyday activity, whether it's hiking or running or just even walking. So how do we, how do we prevent blister to happen? First step of preventing your blister to happen is to choose the proper footwear. Choose shoes that fit and provide ample support. Avoid tight-fitting shoes and opt for breathable material. When you buy new shoes, make sure to break your shoes in before you go on a long hike or a long walk. That just means wear them for maybe an hour and go for a short walk or a short hike. There isn't really a minimum time you must wear your shoes to consider them breaking in, but don't just buy a new pair of shoes and then go on a super long adventure that will first probably hurt your feet and two, it will increase your chance of getting blisters. Consider using uh, insole or cushion insert to reduce pressure point or friction inside your shoes. If you are more inclined to blister on the palm of your feet or even on the heel, uh, there's some insole that have extra padding specifically on those area that can help you prevent um, pressure or friction on your foot. Lubrication. Uh, you can apply a lubricant such as a petroleum jelly or specialized blister prevention product to the area prone to blister before exercising but you can also use anti-chafing uh, product such as Buddy Glide, they work actually amazingly. Proper socks choice. I cannot emphasize enough to convince you socks are probably one of the most important things you will choose to prevent blister. There are different type of socks for running, hiking, or other sport that can help reduce friction. Here's a few options. So there's the Danish endurance uh, running socks. There's the long version and also the short version. I have tried them on. They are actually fantastic. They help with uh, moisture and friction. There's also different hiking uh, socks. Again, you can choose with the uh, Danish endurance or there's also just Merino wool socks. Uh, those are the Merino wool socks. They also have extra padding already included in there that makes them amazing for uh, pressure. But also the Merino wool is fantastic for moisture control. Those one here are double layer socks especially made to prevent um, blistered. I've tried them on on certain trainings, uh, walking trainings. Uh, they are great. The material for those one actually may not be fantastic for moisture, but it does help to reduce friction quite a bit. So they're quite great. If you don't want to spend a fortune on socks, because those socks are probably between 20 to $30, a pair. Uh, you can also just do double layers on your socks. You use a light version socks on the inside and a thicker one on the outside. Uh, I have done it before I spend the money on more expensive socks. It does work so it, it is one option. 
next point is monster control you want to keep your feet dry by wearing um, monster wicking socks which reduce friction again it comes to the type of socks that you want to wear for your activity and also the material I've mentioned merino rule will help control that moisture by absorbing it but it also fast drying you can also help reduce moisture on your feet by using any foot powder or baby powder pretty much the same things you can apply it directly to your feet or inside your shoes it works i will also highly recommend if you go on a long hike or just a long walk changing your your socks if you see that your foot are getting um sweaty or something like that you can bring extra pair of socks with you and change them regularly we have, you can reapply foot uh, powder on your foot or inside your shoes i have done it during certain long walk when i've trained to do the nine megan i would put two or three pair of socks in my backpack and every 15 kilometer i would just automatically change them i'm super prone to blister so i would just not take any chance and just regularly change my socks to make sure my feet is extremely dry now you might have forgotten to do any blister prevention or you did it and you're like me and you get blister anyway so what do you do do you treat the blister? Do you leave it? I'll let you. Remember, prevention and treating blister is essential for a comfortable and enjoyable hiking experience. Follow this step to keep blister at bay and make the most of your outdoor adventure. If you're unsure about how to treat a blister or if it has become infected, consult a healthcare professional. Safe hiking, everyone. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more outdoor tips and adventure. Until next time.